Sup my lovely warm OJs and welcome back to another video. Have you seen one of these? It's a secret note that you can find in Sardew Valley. What do they mean? What do they want? Why does my outfit and my hair scrunchie match the wall lights? These are all the questions we have in life, but for today's video, I'll be mentioning all the secret notes that can be found in Sardew Valley and what to do with them. Let's get into it. So how does one start finding secret notes in Stardew Valley? Well, when leaving your farm on the first day of winter in your first year, towards the bus stop, a shadow figure is caught. He runs away in fright. Following this little footprint path will point you to where he is hiding. Shaking the bush will reveal a shadow figure, who looks exactly like Krobus who is found in the sewers. He apologizes for stealing and passes the player with a magnifying glass before running away. This magnifying glass will be kept in your wallet and gains your access to secret notes. So how are these secret notes found? pretty much by doing actions. There are 25 secret notes to find in total. There's a small chance that you'll find them from weeds, killing monsters, chopping trees, fishing, artifact spots, which are those little worms in the ground, hitting stones, and resource clumps such as large stumps and boulders. But there is a 100% chance that a giant crop, either a giant cauliflower, melon, or pumpkin, will drop a secret note. So what do these secret notes mean? Well, secret note one to nine are notes that talk about the residents of Pelican Town and their favorite food or items. As an example, when note 3 is frowned, the note is in Nia's handwriting saying that a perfect dinner consists of a salad, a goat cheese, truffle, and wine, with a poppy seed muffin as dessert. I decide to find her and interact with her, and then when I check my status, voila! I now know her loved gifts. Interacting with Pelican Town residents at least once in your playthrough will gain you access to track the items they like and don't like. If you're planning to date Leah, these will be the notable items to gift her for the most friendship points. Starting off is secret note one, which is a note in Abigail's diary. She loves pumpkin, which is a fall crop, amethyst, which is found in the caves, chocolate cake, which is a queen of the sauce year one winter 14 recipe, spicy eel, which can be obtained by various situations, such as a seven heart recipe from George or buying it from the desert trader, and blackberry cobbler, which is a queen of the sauce year two fall 14 recipe. Secret note two is a holiday shopping list from Sam. It mentions favorite foods of Pelican Town residents. Sebastian loves frozen tear, which is found commonly in the mines for 40 to 79, and shishimi, which is a Linus three heart recipe. Penny loves emerald, which is found in the mines, and poppy, which is a summer flower crop. Vincent loves grapes, which is a summer forageable, or can be grown as a crop in fall, and cranberry candy, which is a queen of the sauce year one winter 28 recipe. His mum, which is Jody, likes crispy bass, which is a Kent three heart recipe, and pancakes, which is a queen of the sauce year one summer 14 recipe, or the recipe can be bought from the Star Drop Saloon. His dad, which is Kent, who introduces himself as a character at the start of year two, loves risotto, or which is referred to as Fiddlehead Risotto in the game, is a queen of the sauce year two for 28 recipe, and roasted hazelnuts, which is a queen of the sauce year two summer 28 recipe. And finally, Sam enjoys himself a cactus, which is a calico desert forageable, or can be bought from Sandy on Tuesdays for 150 gold, a maple bar, which is a queen of the sauce year two summer 14 recipe, and pizza, which is a queen of the sauce year two spring seven recipe, or can be bought from the Star Drop Saloon. Note three was already mentioned. So for note four, it's a note from Maru that mentions that she needs parts for her greatest invention. So the items that she loves includes gold bar, made from gold ore commonly found in level 80 and up of the mines, iridium bar where the ore can be found in Skull Cave, commonly after level 30, a battery pack, which is created by lightning rods when placed on your farm and struck by lightning, or can be created with a solar panel after seven sunny days, a diamond, which can be found in the caves, and strawberries, which is a spring crop. Note 5 is a note from Penny of what people like in town. She mentions her mum, which is Pam, who loves parsnip, which is a spring crop, glazed yam, which is a recipe you can get from Queen of the Sauce Year 1 Fall 21, and beer, which can either be crafted by one wheat in a keg or straight up bought from the Star Drop Saloon. Jazz loves fairy rose, which is a fall flower, and plum pudding, which is a Queen of the Sauce Year 1 Winter 7 recipe. We have an additional love item for Vincent, which is a pink cake, which is a Queen of the Sauce Year 2 Summer 21 
one recipe. Penny then mentions Mr. Malna, which is George in the game, who loves leeks, which is a spring forageable, and fried mushroom, which is a three heart Demetrius recipe. And Granny Malna, who is of course Evelyn, loves bean, which is a four forageable, and tulip, which is a spring flower. Note six is a Sun Drop Saloon special order. We've got Mayor Lewis, who loves his autumn bounty, which is a Demetrius seven heart recipe. Marnie, who loves her pumpkin pie, which is a queen of the sauce year one winter 21 recipe. Demetrius loves his bean hot pot, which is a Clint seven heart recipe. And Caroline, who loves fish tacos, which is a Linus seven heart recipe. Secret Note seven mentions some bachelors in Saju and the items they love. Harvey is mentioned to love coffee, which can be made with five coffee beans in a keg or can be bought straight up from the Sun Drop Saloon and pickles which is when a vegetable is placed in a preserved jar. Then there is Elliot, who loves his crab cakes. It's a queen of the sauce year two, fall 21 recipe. And pomegranates, from a pomegranate tree, which can be harvested in fall. Then there is Shane, who loves his beer, pizza, and pepper poppers, which is a Shane three heart recipe. Note eight is a note to Haley and Emily, who are sisters. It is mentioned that Haley loves pink cake and sunflowers, which is a summer and fall flower. And Emily, who loves wool, which is dropped by rabbits and sheep, and minerals such as amethyst, rubies, and aquamarines. And finally, for Secret Note 9, it is Alex's strength training diet, which means he loves a complete breakfast, which is a queen of the sauce, year two spring 21 recipe, and salmon dinner, which is a Gus 3 heart recipe. If you've made it this far, why not consider liking? It greatly helps the channel. And if you want to see more Stardew Valley videos, why not consider subscribing? If you've got any questions or want to see more Stardew Valley videos and want to suggest something, why not comment it down below and you'll see a comment from me. Next up, we have notes that are somewhat like challenges in Stardew Valley. Note 10 will become available after entering the Skull Cave and completing the Mr. Quee quest to reach level 25. Note 10 will have a message on it. Someone is waiting for you in level 100 of Skull Cave. If you need some assistance with this note, why not check out my video that mentions some tips on reaching level 100 in Skull Cave. When you reach level 100 in Skull Cave, you encounter a cutscene with Mr. Queen, who congratulates you and rewards you with a sip of Iridium Snake Milk. It increases your max health permanently by 25. Note 11 looks like it's just an old photo of young Jazz and possibly young Marnie. There is nothing to gather from this photo except that Marnie had helped to take care of Jazz for some time. Note 12 mentions that on lucky days, items can be found in the garbage bins by the Star Drop Saloon, the Molnar's garbage can, which is Evelyn and George's house, the blacksmith garbage can and the museum's trash can. Note 13 mentions to check the bush above the playground at noon sharp on the 28th day of any season. Shaking the bush will drop you a Jamino plush which is purely a decoration item. Note 14 says, I hid something behind the community center. Head there and wedge yourself against the back wall of the community center and the fence to the right. You should see your cursor change to a hand. Use your pickaxe here and you'll receive a stone Jamino, purely a decoration item. Note 15 is interesting. The inscriptions say Mermaid Show 15423. During the night market on winter day 15 to 17, head far right to start the Mermaid Show. After watching this trippy yet mesmerizing show, click the shells in order of the note 15423 to be rewarded with a pearl. This can only be done once. Note 16 to 21 are pictures with an X that marks the spot. Note 16 is a picture of an X right next to a railway track. Head north of Robin's Carpenter Shop towards the train tracks and find the exact location. Using a hoe will reward you with a treasure chest. This can only be found once in your playthrough and can either be sold for 5,000 gold or used on a sewing machine to make a pirate hat. Note 17 is a picture of a river with a bridge located the farthest northeast corner of the town. Use your hoe here in this corner will reward you with a green strange doll. This can only be done once and can either be sold, used in a sewing machine or donated as a museum item. Note 18 is a picture of an X next to a bench. It really doesn't give away too much information but this bench can be found in the desert. The bench is located southeast of Calico Desert and using your hoe here will reward you with a yellow strange doll 
which is similar to the green strange doll. This can only be found once and can either be sold, used in a sewing machine or donated as a museum item. Note 19 is a picture of a blue house with a walking pattern to follow. This house resembles the house far southwest of Pelican Town. Follow this path by walking all the way until something stops your character. You'll end up right behind Lewis's house and using your pickaxe when something is in your way, you'll find a solid gold Lewis statue. You can either keep it for yourself or you can unlock an additional secret when the statue is placed down anywhere in Pelican Town. If the statue is left there overnight, the next morning you'll receive a note from Lewis getting upset that you found his private belonging. He'll reward you with 750 gold and remove the statue from its place. It has a 90% chance to be found in Lewis's bedroom after this or a 10% chance to be found in Marnie's bedroom. Returning to the spot where the statue once was, you were left with a rotten plant which is usually a trash item that the jack-o'-lanterns produce in-game when it hits winter. Note 20 is a picture of a weird eye circle with another walking path. The eye depicts the town center. Follow this path the same way as previously mentioned by walking all the way until something is in your path to be directed to the Joe Jamant's truck. Talk to the driver and he'll ask you for a rabbit's foot. When you hand this in, he'll reward you with a lucky charm, which will permanently be placed in the player's wallet and increases the player luck by 0.025. And note 20 one is a two-part picture. At night at 12.40 p.m. head to this bush which is to the left of the bridge that takes you down to the beach. Interacting with this bush at this time will encounter an interesting event. I wonder what they were doing in there. Notes 22 to 25 are some final quests to complete. Note 22 has a message from Mr. Kui which will ask the character if you found his secret in his dark tunnel. The tunnel he's referring to is the tunnel west from the bus. A battery pack is needed to power the box on the wall. Another quest is then given. Leave a rainbow shell, which is found on the beach in the summer, in a box at the train platform. Doing this will then offer another quest. Place 10 beasts, which is a full crop, in Lewis's fridge. When completing this, you'll get another quest. Give the sand dragon his last meal. The sand dragon they are referring to is found in the Calico Desert. This is a hard quest to decipher, but you need to place a solar essence, which can be found in the mines, commonly by drops in later game battles, will offer the last quest. Inspect the lumber pile beside your house will offer you the final reward, a club card. This will permanently stay in the player's wallet and can be used in the oasis by interacting with the bouncer. He'll then disappear and gain you access to a spooky hidden casino. You can do as you please here. You can buy a statue of endless fortune with the guy in the upper right corner for 1 million gold, convert your money into Kui coins to gamble, or buy items from the merchant to the right with Kui coins. Note 23 is a funky message that asks for some maple syrup to be delivered in the secret woods. Enter the secret woods with maple syrup in your inventory. We'll offer a weird cunt scene with a bear who wants to be your friend. He will then permanently increase the sell price of blackberries and salmon berries, which are bush forest by three times. You can even view the best knowledge icon in your wallet after this cutscene. Note 24 is a note from M. Jasper. There isn't too much information on who this is in the game, although many speculate online that this may be Marlin from the Adventure Guild. It mentions that Jaminos tend to assist Mother Earth reclaiming the Earth when humans disappear, but it then mentions a folk wisdom of Jaminos liking gemstones when placed in their huts. This references the Jamino hunt which are available after completing the community center or Georgia Mart warehouse and completing the wizard two part quest when entering the railroads. You can then purchase the Jamino huts which are available by the book inside the wizard's house to place on your farm. This will then allow Jaminos to harvest some crops nearby. Placing a gemstone of a certain color in their inventory and then going to sleep will change the color of the Jaminos to that corresponding colors. I did have some fun with this and then eventually placed a few colors in one hut at a time and the Jaminos were different colors corresponding to the ones that I placed. And finally, Note 25 mentions a borrowed necklace which is lost by the bathhouse. Fishing in this little fishing patch in front of the spa will reward you with an ornate necklace. You can either hand this to Caroline for 50 friendship points or Abigail for 100 friendship points. And thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, why not consider liking? If you want to see more Saji Valley videos, why not consider subscribing? And if you want to see me live, I'm on twitch.tv forward slash I hope to see you there and I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.